Hello everyone and welcome to our um, ideologically tutorialising Caveman the Cosmos. This time around we are going to discuss how to install and download, install and update the Caveman the Cosmos client uh, mod via the SVN. Um, the SVN is updated usually about daily so and it, it stops you from having to constantly download the newest version. All you really have to do is update the SVN whenever you feel like it. Anyway, first thing you have to do is download Cape Man Cosmos. So you scroll all the way down on the first uh, OP, all the way down to download here. That will take you to this um, page and you click the download now via external site. Once you get into the mod DB site, you go down, you scroll down to files and you click the Caveman to Cosmos version 38.5. Once you get into this page, you then click the download now button and wait for the, um, wait for it to download and it will eventually download here. It will, well, it will pop up and say uh, you're downloading. If it doesn't download instantly, I would suggest um, clicking the button, uh, so this thing, click to download if it doesn't already automatically start. After you've done that, you want to go into the Tortoise SVN, uh, which is tortoisesvn.net. I will post all the links in the description below, uh, if I remember, hopefully I will. And then, depending on if you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit OS, you want to click one of these and it will automatically download it. And yeah, uh, once you get that, you will then, once Caveman to Cosmos and SVN are fin finished downloading, you want to go into the place where you've downloaded it, which will be usually downloads. I've got it in the folder C2C uh, tutorial, so it's easier to notice. We have Caveman to Cosmos 38.5, we have the zip file, and we have the Tortoise file. So normally you want to double click the extract button, double click Caveman to Cosmos and extract to wherever you want to extract it to. And then once you get into there, you want to right click the Caveman to Cosmos file. You want to then SVN checkout and you want the, well, if you want to know where the URL of the repository is, you go back into your internet, go into the SVN change log, scroll down a little bit to this section here, which is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninth paragraph, the second line, uh, and you go down to URL enter and then copy this I'll also post a link into that a uh, thing as well down in the description you copy that put it into your URL repository then click OK and then it will start updating this will take some time usually quite a long time and it might crash uh, halfway through if it does just redo it and I think you'll be able to uh, SVN update and then once you've SVN updated it you can then create a new folder oh well you don't want to create a new folder you want to then copy this but change the name to uh, Caveman to Cosmos no uh, 38.5 because it won't actually work and then when you copy that you want to put it into your mods folder you're beyond the, uh, your uh, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Sid Meier's uh, for Beyond the Sword, Beyond the Sword mods and you want to copy paste it into here. <laughs> you don't want to update the SVN uh, within this mods folder because it will break your saves. Once that is done, you may want to create a separate folder for your user settings within your, mod, uh, your downloads folder or whatever. That way, whenever you delete this, 
uh, whenever you delete Cave and the Cosmos, bring over uh, your bring over this folder back into that mods folder because that's what you'll do every so often. Whenever you do that, after you've updated it, you can then move your user settings back over. So if I go in here, click copy and paste into here. Now that way you can just move your user settings over to your Cape Pentacosmos folder whenever you feel like it. I hope this helps you all out a lot. This is a very quick description of how to do the uh, SVN. I remember trying to read this and I had no idea on how to do this so yeah. <laughs> uh, and I was talking to someone in Discord and they got same as me, got kind of confused about how to actually use this. So yeah, hopefully explaining it will help you a lot more than trying to read it. I am much more of a person who is better at understanding through speech and visible visibility rather than uh, reading. So thank you all for watching. I hope this all helps you. I hope this helps you all, all a lot. And I'll see you all next time. Have fun, people. And bye-bye. Oh, actually, before I finish. So when you're done that, every time you try to update it, you want to then go into right-click that. And there should be an SVN commit button or SVN the update. So every time you, uh, one, whenever you want to update that, you just click that button. Um, and that will be that. So thank you all for watching. Have fun, people. And bye-bye.